Oof, I'm still a little bit wet from yesterday. This is a vlog. Hello friends, welcome to the very last day of Vita. And my last video is gonna be about a graphic novel called Why the Last Man. So Why the Last Man is very much like The Walking Dead was, where it was a monthly comic book series, so a new issue came out every month, and then they compiled them into graphic novels. There is 10 of them in the series, because Why the Last Man is now finished, unlike The Walking Dead. The series is written by Brian K. Vaughn, who's written for both Marvel and DC, and has written for television and Possibly movies question mark. I should have done some research before I started this video, but I did not But even though he has written for the big guys This is a very original story. It involves a man named York and his monkey ampersand both the only males alive on earth so the conceit here is that every single male of every species on earth has died so it is now run by women basically 50 percent of the earth has died has thrown the whole society into chaos and what are the repercussions of the world with that as your reality. So each book is collecting about 10 to 12 issues per one. And what's great about that is that it combines both the story arcs and the individual like one-off stories. So if you're a comic book collector, you kind of understand what I mean by that. But let's take Spider-Man, only the greatest superhero of all time. We'll take him as an example, where you'll get like, He's fighting the Sandman and there's like a storyline that there's going along with that. So like three or four issues will go along and will tell this overarching story. And then what will happen is either another one will start or sometimes there'll be this like this one issue with just one story for it. And that's what it combines where you get these like little story arcs and then sometimes it won't involve the main cast. It'll have like a story within this world and it gives this big broader picture of how everyone is coping with this and I really love it. There's also side note why I know they've been trying to make a film out of this property for so many years and have had even announced directors to take on the role and then that's fallen through and it's why I think that it almost is not able to. It's going to be very similar to kind of like The Watchmen where they have to cut out a lot of stuff just to stick with the main storyline but with doing that you're also losing a lot of heart and a lot of soul of how and why this series is so good. I should point out that the majority of the artwork is done by Piet Guerra and Jose Marizan Jr. I was gonna try and remember that off the top of my head. And I also butchered their names, so yay for me. So what could be a very standard post-apocalyptic storyline, this is not something altogether new for science fiction, but what does make it new is that the focus is a lot on the women. Uh, which I know there's strong female heroines in a lot of science fiction and even here we have a main character who is a male But it's really the females of this world that add this rich texture like how they are dealing with it now how They come from all these different walks of life where maybe they were subjugated by men and now they're raised to prominence or they miss men or wish men came back um, mothers and have lost their sons and it's not a, a rosy picture. It's not oh It's great now that men have gone for some people that is their reality and for many others. It's like why? Why is God punishing us for this and there's all these really great questions that are that are being asked and Trying to be reckoned with within this storyline. There's twists and there's turns along the way the way you think this is gonna end up is not how it ends up and that is something that's kind of satisfying, where you think you know what the ending's gonna be, but you really have no idea what the ending is gonna be. If you've read it, what do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Maybe I am crazy, maybe it's a terrible series. Let me know if that's what you think, or if you love it, let me know why you think it's great down in the comments. And that brings us to the end of Vita. I do not regret saying that this was a really big challenge. It almost killed me, but I survived. I made 20 videos in the month of August. Aren't you proud of me? Who's unsubscribed? About eight of you, from what I can see from my statistics. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna be back again this coming Thursday with my normal vlog and back onto that schedule. I'm also going to Seattle. So if you are anywhere near the Seattle area on September 12th to 14th let me know and there's a chance that maybe we can meet up or do some sort of thing while I am there I am also going through BC so I'm going to be making stops in like the Okanagan area Kelowna uh, Kamloops and also Vancouver so 
look at my Twitter, you'll see where I am, and that is the best place to get in contact with me. Until then, though, my name is Kyle. I'll see you on Thursday. I am going to go and rock my brain with some comic books.